Hello everyone, good to see you. Okay, so today is the 27th of October 2020 on when, uh, on Tuesday, sorry. So let's get started now. Um, so today's topic is about the forecast lines. So every Tuesday, I talk about Ichimoku basic lectures, I talk about Ichimoku fiber lines and other theories and today I will present uh, the forecast lines which is actually the grade lines you, that you can draw on the daily chart to expect um, how the market's moving towards near future so I have already talked about the forecast lines before but um, we'll look at some couple of uh, real charts now and see um, which one we can find the forecast lines and how we can expect the future market moves so let's get started and if you are interested to know more about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo then I run the Ichimoku community so you can uh, click on the link, be, uh, link be, uh, description below and you can find all the explanations and everything that you can expect on this community recently I released the Ichimoku basic theories book which is also available in the Ichimoku community members so you can enjoy reading these books all right, and the GTS Global Trading School is actually another uh, service that I do, and this is a three-month uh, members. I'm, I mean, this is a only five-member group, and this is like a coaching and a trading school. So there is actually the next one in January 2021. So if you're interested, there are still a couple of seats available. So you can uh, just write me an email through the contact form. Also the link below description and let me know so that I can put you on the waiting list. Okay, so before starting anything here, um, just as a quick disclaimer, all this knowledge is basically based on my experience. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. It is always important to take responsibility of your trades by your own. All right, so let's get started. Let's see, let me say hi to everyone real quick. Oh, hi, Russell Vin. Thank you for joining on this Ichimoku community. So make sure you access to, you access the community tab on YouTube and access to the Discord so that you can get all the perks in this community. But once again, uh, Russell Vin, welcome to the Ichimoku community and stay gold. All right, so let's see who who, who else is here. Josie Valentino, Nakib Thanapol, Kulan, thank you for joining. In Santosh, Arukari Senior, Antipas, Debriam, James Freddy, Vincent, good to see you, to see you. And Arania Danish, Decoin, Waruna, Lawrence, Jagadish, and Ali, Red, Karim, Hui. Thank you for joining, everyone. Good to see you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Well, actually, it's a good evening from Japan, Tokyo. Okay, so let's look at a couple of charts now. And the first one that I would like to show today is the Euro AUD. Because I found this, this is actually um, the great example to draw forecast lines now. So, um, the forecast lines, I have already talked about it, but um, just as a quick recap, how you can draw the forecast lines will be first you find the recent high or low on the daily chart. So make sure you take the daily chart and you find the recent high here. So on this day of the 20th of October on this Euro AUD, the market marked the high here. So and we want to know how the Kumo was forming on this day, the 20th of October, when the market marked the high, so that we want to know if the retracement is going to be stable or not. Right now, the price is going down and it's reaching to the Kijun Sen here. So, we want to know if the price will break the Kijun Sen or not, and whether the price is going to reach the Kumo or not. Otherwise, it should uh, keep going up this way. And to capture this retracement, if this is persi persistent or not, you can draw the forecast lines. So basically, 
on this 20th of October, the Kumo was forming 26 candles to the future from the 20th of October because Kumo shifted 26 candles to the future. So simply you measure the number of the candles. So from this day of um, uh, 20th of October, you count uh, 26, 26 candles to the future. So if I drag this tool simply to the right, 26 bars, it was here. Let me plot the vertical line. So you see 26 parts, and that's when this the kumo was forming here. So does that make sense? So far, so good. So kumo is shifted 26 forward. So once again, right now, kumo is here, and the current candlestick is right here. And there are there are actually 26, 26 candles in between, and that's where where the kumo is. If I measure manually today's uh, candlestick to the kumo, this is twenty six bars. So in uh, in uh, in a kumo's nature, the, it's shifted twenty six forward. So you know that the kumo was forming over here when the market marked the recent high up here. And once you find the kumo at that time then you draw two lines, one from the high to the single span A, and another one from the high to the single span B, and these are called the forecast lines. So, so far so good. And these forecast lines are actually uh, available only when within the uptrend or downtrend market. When it's ranging, you cannot really trust the forecast lines because it just goes up and down within the range. So when the Kumo is flat and when there is ups and downs in the market, then um, forecast lines is not really ideal to use. But when it's trending like this, then you can draw the forecast lines. So let's see. I see a couple of comments now. Uh, you cannot draw the forecast line to Chikospan, to the Kumo. Um, well, that would be a... Um, technically you can, because Kumo to Chikospan will be super long trend, or super long term. But um, if you are still new to forecast lines, then I recommend you to draw from the top of the candle, or the recent high, to the Kumo at that time. So two lines. One from the top to single span A, one from the top to single span B. And you have the forecast lines. Okay, good to see you everyone. Thank you for joining Red, Karim Hui, and Golam, Anthony, Nadun, Freddy. Good to see you again. Good to see you Pete and Sue. Thank you for joining. Oh, Nadun says, uh, I trade with Sanyaku, Koten, Sanyaku, Gyakuten signals, but many times to lost trades. Um, yeah, because Sanyaku, Koten, Gyakuten signals are actually not the buy chance or sell chance, technically. Um, Goichi Hosodo says, that's when you can look for buy chance. But it doesn't mean that uh, you can buy at that time. Okay. Hi, Roy. Thank you for joining. Karin. And Sean, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. All right. Um, yeah, so I use Ichimoku indicator to capture the whole picture of the market. So I use Ichimoku in the daily chart, uh, or four hour chart, one hour chart, or weekly chart even, or monthly chart. But when it comes to taking trades, I use different tools and indicators to capture these trading edges. So for example, when I see the Sanyaku, Sanyaku Koten signal in a daily chart, then I look at the lower time frames to capture exactly where to buy. Um, of course, you know, um, 
no indicators 100%. So even though, even though you see that Sanyaku Koten Gekuten signals, it might become fake and it might go downwards afterwards. So better to confirm the uptrend in some ways, some other ways. And then you can, you know, you can uh, ride on that trend to the future. All right, Ivan and Ham Prof, thank you for joining. Good to see you. Pandavon and Mary, Sandy, Grace, good to see you. Thank you for joining, everyone. And ah, Marusan, thank you for joining. <laughs> good to see you. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, and let's see. Franklin, Saito, and Yoron, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. So, Marusan and uh, Mr. Yoron has been my uh, the moderators in my community. So, when you come to my website, and if you scroll down a little bit, so here is my website, and scroll down a little bit. Then you see their introductions here. Case moderators and Yoron and Maru has been uh, the moderator, moderators on my community. So you can enjoy their introductions with their faces on it. <laughs> yep, good to see you. So, um, yeah, so coming back to this topic, forecast lines. So right now that you have the forecast lines here and simply now you see the price is below the forecast lines now so once again we're looking at this euro AUD and the daily chart and the price is retracing backwards now so as long as the price below the forecast lines it's gonna touch the Kumo but once the price breaks the forecast lines upwards then we can expect the continuous uptrend this way as a bigger picture so this is the essence of the forecast lines and sometimes the market reacts to these forecast lines sometimes um, the market is going to be resisted by these forecast lines and go down or once it breaks then the market will be supported the market sometimes uh, is supported by these forecast lines and it goes up afterwards this way. So we can watch out these moves as the price get close to the forecast lines in the future. But now simply we, we see that the price is below the forecast lines so this is still bearish trend in these forecast lines. So in this case the price might break the Kijun Sen downwards here. And when it, the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, then the Chikou Span, you see Chikou Span is most likely will be touching the candles. And you see either the range market or it's gonna, uh, you know, head down to the Kumo. And what's important also is that, um, so, so basically in this kind of market, uh, this is still uptrend to me because the price is above the Kijun Sen and the Kumo and Chikou Span is technically above the candles so this is basically still bullish bullish uh, trend to me but once the price breaks the Kijun Sen down and once the Chikou Span touches the candles then there's this is range market that will become the range market and the price may uh, continue to go down to the Kumo here and as it keeps going, um, so you just wait for the market until the 24th of November at the end of the forecast lines. And if the price lands below the forecast lines, we can expect the market to continue to go down this way. And once the price goes uh, gets in within the forecast lines, then it can be in the range market still. And once the price lands above the forecast lines on this day of the 24th of November, then we can expect the continuous uptrend this way. Until then, we just wait, we just look at these uh, five lines of Ichimoku and expect which way the market is potentially going. Um, I look at the daily chart and the 4-hour chart also. So once you start to see the daily chart trends, then you can write on it 
once you find the uptrend in 4 hour chart, then you can write on the 4 hour chart trend. Okay. All right, now Chris from Scotland, thank you for joining. Good to see you. All right, Central, uh, Euro USD. Uh, Euro USD looks to be ranging now, but um, let's take a look at that one soon. And Anne, thank you for joining. And Ichimoku with RSI. Um, I personally don't use RSI, so to be honest, I'm not really sure. I only use Ichimoku in higher time frames, in the lines. But I don't use any other indicators on higher time frames. Okay, thank you for joining from Brazil. Good to see you. So let's look at the Euro USD now. So everybody okay with these forecast lines? This is very powerful. So whenever you see the retracement along the up and down trends, then you can uh, draw these forecast lines. Oh yeah, so right now this is bullish in the daily chart because simply because the price is above the Kijun Sen in the daily chart and Kumo Senko Span A is moving up and also Chikou Span is above the candles. So this is still bullish trend. But once the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, then it's the no trend. There is, uh, it becomes no trendy market. And once the price breaks the Kumo downwards, then it might become the downtrend afterwards. So unless the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, this is uptrend still. So we can expect this uh, continuous bullish in wave like this way, in this case. But if the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, then it might become a reverse in wave and the price may continue to go down. And you just wait for the price when where it lands until the 24th of November. And depending on where it lands, either below the forecast lines, within the forecast lines, or above the forecast lines, uh, you can expect the next move in the market. All right, good to see you everyone. Thank you for joining Francis. Can we use forecast lines in one hour chart time frame? Um, I don't recommend to use it in one hour chart. Um, I recommend you to use it in a daily chart because in lower time frames there are more noise in the market. So these lagging indicators lines might not gonna work. So I recommend you to use the daily chart forecast lines. Please show forecast lines in the bearish trend. Alright, so let's look at the Euro USD and see if we can draw any forecast lines on the bearish trend. So here is a Euro USD right now and this is completely in the range, there is no trends. So in this case we don't draw the forecast lines. Like uh, the Kumo is flat right now completely and the Kijun Sen is flat right now. Chikou Span is exactly touching the candle still, so we don't know which way the price is going. The price might go up or it might go down and we don't know which way it's going. So in this particular situation, you don't want to draw the forecast lines. Like um, you may think that, oh, there's a recent high here. So on this day, 21st of October, so you might draw the forecast lines from this top to the Kumo at that time. Uh, 26 bars to the future and another one from the top to the Senko Span B here and once the price breaks the forecast lines upwards the price may go up this way. You might think like that but actually this is technically not true because in this particular case especially this is in the range market 
So even if we see the breakout of the forecast lines in May reverse backwards soon and comes back to the Kumo or com comes back to the Kijun Sen. So that's why I don't really recommend you to use these forecast lines in the ranging market defined by Ichimoku 5 lines, but I recommend you to use it on a trending market. So um, let's see, let me show you the example and the bearish trend. So let me just go back a little bit and when the market was bearish trending. So here I think was a great example. We have the bearish trend. We see the recent low here on this 1st of October um, last year 2019. We have the recent low here. And let me draw the forecast lines here. Um, so we take the low to the Kumo at that time which is the 26 candles to the future and it was exactly here and another one from the from the low to the Senko span A and in this case you see technically the price was actually above the forecast lines so in this case we can expect the bearish uh, sorry bullish move afterwards after the retracement the price went backwards but over over time it actually goes up this way so this was a nice reversal signal by the fact that the price lands above the forecast lines and afterwards the price actually goes up afterwards slightly this way so but when the price actually goes within the Kumo here, then it might become range some more time. And if the price goes below the forecast lines, then we can expect the continuous bearish trend afterwards. So this is a way you can use the forecast lines. But right now the market is ranging. Market is in the range so you don't want to take these lows or highs to draw the forecast lines because um, they're not going to be so reliable when it's range in market. So let's see. Um, let's check out some other pairs now and see which one is trending. Um, Euro GBP. Oh wow, this is completely in the range market. And Euro JPY is also ranging. Yeah. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So in this case, you don't want to take you don't want to take the forecast lines. And GBP USD here, it's also ranging market. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen is flat. So it's pretty much in the range. Um, there is a time cycle on this uh, GPP USD that I captured. So this is in between uh, the the highs and lows were actually on this uh, 17, 18 bars intervals. So as I said before, we can expect the next high or low on this day, 9th of November. But at this moment, we don't know which way the price is going. So. We only know that the, the 9th of November can be Henkabi and uh, the price may retrace backwards or it goes up afterwards. So Henkabi has two meanings. Um, it might be a retracement day or it might accelerate the trend direction. So yeah, that's one thing but yeah, this is a little bit you know, off topic from the forecast lines, but uh, I just happened to find find this uh, time cycles. So that's another example. But um, let's see, USDJPY um, looks like this is uh, flat. Also, we see Kumo flat, and Kijun Sen is up. However, the Chikou span is touching the candles. So this is also ranging. 
So the price might come back to the Kumo now. So we better wait for the next trending market. And yeah, looks like due to the US election, um, looks like the market has been flat, especially on these USD pairs, it is flat. So I guess this is where you have to be patient until we see the next decent trending market. So CADJPY is in the P wave now. So CADJPY here, we see the range market in the P wave. So the price might go up to the recent high or this uh, descending um, line and it might be resisted by here and go down. So we'll see on this one. Um, at this moment, uh, I don't know which way it's going, so I'm staying away from this pair too. And AUD USD is also ranging. So Kumo flat, uh, Senko span A is moving down, and Kijun Sen is moving down. So the price may continue to go down this way, but because of this Chikou span touch, um, it might reverse backwards. Uh, we don't see a decent downtrend in this case. So I guess we better look at the lower time frames to capture a trending market. At least on the daily chart basis, we don't have any uh, trending market. And finally, as we saw on this Euro AUD, so so far on this among these pairs, I can see that the Euro AUD is the only one that is trending. Um, and this is uptrend. The Kumo is up, Senko Span A is up, Kijun Sen is up, and the price above the Kijun Sen and the Chikou Span above the candles. So I can see that this is still bullish. So I still expect the market goes up on this bullish end wave. And if the price breaks the forecast lines, then I can really see that this is the continuous bullish. So I will look for buy chance afterwards here. I will look at the lower time frames when it happens. So this is the daily chart. So in this case, if the market continues to go up and breaks the forecast lines upwards, then I look at the one hour chart or 30. I look at the one hour chart or M30, 30 minute chart. And confirm this uptrend also in the mid time frames. And once I capture the uptrend in mid time frames, then I look at the 5 or 15. I look at the 5 or 15 minute chart to capture the trading edge to buy afterwards. So that's one of the scenarios. But if I see the market breaks the Kijun Sen downwards this way, then I won't take any buys or sells. Because there's a potential retracement up to the Kumo. And when it happens, that Chikou Span will touch the candles. So it's gonna be in the range market. There will be no trends in the market. So, so once again, it is uh, very important to, uh, to know which market is trending and which market is not trending. And the one that is trending, I capture it and I take trades. Otherwise, I will just stay away. Okay, so let's come back to some of the comments now. Thank you for joining everyone. Good to see you, as always. I wish you having a great week today also. Wait horse, the end of the October and the November starts uh, very soon. So, in Tokyo it's getting cold now. I hope you'll be healthy. Um, according to K, hold on, uh, let me come back to some comments now. Um, e, does EA increase or decrease? Um, I don't really run the EA, expert advisors, so I, I'm not sure um, how it moves. Okay, and 
Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Tab, if you don't know what to do after joining the community, then、um, please come to the website. Oh, actually, the moderator has been already following you up. So please, for the guide, and if you're still struggling how to join the community or how to join Discord, then please contact, contact me through the contact form on my website and I can best help you out.、Um, let's see, Sulikot,、uh, greeting from、um, Kansas. All right, good to see you. Thank you for joining. I think it's、uh, very early in the morning in Kansas, but still, thank you for joining. Okay, Paul says, Hi K,、uh, over the time period of trading your strategy, what would you say is your、um, win rate or overall expect expectancy of your strategy?、Um, I have already、uh, uploaded my performance on my website, on my profile, so you can、uh, see my performance. Usually I have the winning rate of、uh, about like、uh, 40%, maybe 35%, 40%. Um, and my profit factor is、uh, above five. Sometimes I have a six, seven profit factor. So that's my performance every month in average. Okay,、uh, Milad, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. Good to see you from Iran. I learned a lot from you. All right, glad to hear that. So make sure that you understand the concept of the forecast lines. All right, Zizi,、um, uh, FAQUE, thank you for joining as well. <laughs> All right, good to see you. Okay,、uh, Marie says, Hi, K, I want to watch your every day, but this hour is busy. You know, I applied in the chart、um, the Ichimoku basic theory. It's so great. Great, great to hear that. All right. <laughs> All right, thank you for stopping by, Maria. Um, yeah, so basically, I do the lives every day. So,、um, yeah, you can、uh, just enjoy whenever you can come. And if you miss one of these videos, but if you're still inter interested, then you can always come to、um, this website. And I have the playlist here. So, these are the playlists on my past lives. So, yeah, if you, in case you miss some of these topics on October, Then、um, you can watch these playlists and enjoy the contents previously. And I'm glad that the time theory is, has been working, or Ichimoku basic theory has been working. So, yeah, that's great to hear. In his second book, the Goichi Hosoda talks about the forecast lines ES. Yep, that's true. It's actually introduced in the,、um, the, uh, the Ichimoku Complete. Why don't you look at the 4 hour chart as the key chart?、Um, because my topic today is the forecast lines. And I recommend you to do the forecast lines in daily charts, and that's why I only look at the daily chart. But、um, in reality,、uh, when I look for some markets, trends, then I compare the daily chart and the f o u r h o u r chart. But yeah, right now, here、uh, we see that this is a range market on the f o u r h o u r chart as well. Let's turn to the f o u r h o u r chart. And yeah, this is range. We see the price is in the Kumo now. The Kumo is getting very thin here, flat. And Chikijun Sen is flat basically. So, and we might see that the Kumo breakout sometime near future in the 4 hour chart. So, once it happens, then the price might continue to go down this way. But yeah, basically, this is range. The price looks to be in the Kumo now. So I would stay away, anyways, because I don't see any trending market. Um, let's see.、Uh, Tin says, In what time frame can you 
can Ichimoku be best used for daily chart? It's a daily chart. Yeah, you better use the Ichimoku on the daily chart. <coughs> Okay, crude oil. It's a nice downtrend and looking for sell chance at the 15 minute chart. All right, we'll see. I don't personally take trades on crude oil. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, whenever you see the trending market, then just write on it is the key. All right. Oh, the postman. Thank you for the words. Yep, my um, channel subscriber became over 20k now, so I really appreciate your support continuously, and I wish you learn, keep learning from my channel every day. So I am thinking to do a long live, uh, like I did before, uh, when I reach the, this milestone. So now that I have the over 20k subscribers on my YouTube channel. I am thinking, I'm trying to find the day to do the long live. And when it happens, I will let you know. So you can expect, you can just stop by and say hi. Uh, and uh, yeah, last time I think I was, that was like a four or five hours live stream. It was super long. So <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I'm not really sure how long I can do it next time. But um, yeah, we'll see. I will let you know when it happens sometime near future. <laughs> uh, Grace says, I have learned a lot just a week of being here. Thanks for the simplicity of Ichimoku. Sure, you're welcome. Glad to hear that. So, um, let me summarize or let me just express my thought about Ichimoku or the way I look at the market by Ichimoku on higher time frames. Um, so like I said before, like I said um, early part on this live stream, um, I don't I don't believe one single confirmation to take trades or to get you know the, the bigger picture of the market. So I use Ichimoku five lines to see the bigger picture of the market. But this is only the scenario part. Uh, when it comes to taking trades, I look for three confirmations in lower time frames, and also I confirm the the trends on higher time frame on mid time frames. So, um, what I wanted to say is that um, I draw the forecast lines like this, and I said that once it breaks, the price may continue to go up this way. But this is not hundred percent true. It may happen. The price may go up, breaks the uh, fork lines upwards, and the price may continue to go up. And with that in mind, you look at the mid time frames, and once you confirm the uptrend in the mid time frame also, then you find three three confirmations to enter in lower time frames. But unless the price breaks this uh, fork lines upwards. Um, you know, you cannot really create the uptrend scenario. And that's what I mean by break the forecast lines for the continuous uptrend indication. So it's like the Sanyaku Koten, Sanyaku Gekuten signal too. Um, I know Sanyaku signals are very famous among the world. So sometimes uh, traders take these Sanyaku signals to take trades. But actually for myself, it is not true. Um, for example, um, let's see, when the market reverses, there there is a Sanyaku signal. So for example, Euro USD daily chart. Um, uh, yeah, this is not really the good example. Maybe all the way in the back. Okay, so here uh, we see the Sanyaku signal. Like um, the price breaks. Uh, sorry, first you see Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold cross and Chikospan breakout happens exactly here. Chikospan breakout happens and then Kumo breakout as Sanyaku signal. And you might already take buy here without confirming the uptrend in the mid time frames. And then the price goes backwards. 
And this is, I think, very important um, message from Goichi Hosoda or the way I look at the market also. But um, once you find Sayaku Koten signal in this case, then this is when where you can start to look for buy chance. He doesn't say that you can buy here, but he says this is when you can get ready yourself to look for buy because the price may continue to go up this way. But once again, it's not 100%. Of course, the market might reverse backwards. But one thing for sure is that when the price is above the Kijun Sen or in the Kumo, so exactly here, when, when the price retraces backwards and goes above the Kijun Sen, and when the price is in the Kumo, so the, this whole area, you don't want to take trace. In this area, you don't want to take trace because the price can go up, down, very sharply. And after the common breakout, then the price um, can possibly go up, and this is where you can look for buy chance. But this is not where you buy. So that's a very big difference, and that's how I present um, my Ichimoku knowledge through this community. So, yeah, once again, Euro AUD right now, uh, coming back to this topic, Euro AUD, you can draw the forecast lines, and once it breaks, we can expect the continuous uptrend, but it might reverse backwards, we don't know which way, still. So once it breaks upwards, then you can confirm the uptrend by Kumo, the Kumo, whether the Kumo is going up, and Kijun Sen is going up at that time after the break. And make sure that the Chikou Span is above the candles also. And then you look at the mid time frames and confirm the uptrend also by Ichimoku lines. Then you can find the three confirmations to enter and enter the buy. So that the price, there's a higher possibility for the price to keep going up this way. So that's the whole mindset or my, my kind of philosophy of my trace and the view about the market. So in that sense, I don't uh, really depend on one single indicator or one single confirmation to enter because nothing, nothing is 100% in this, uh, in this uh, forex market. So I hope you get the you get the idea and that's exactly what I teach on the GTS class and also the Ichimoku community. So I wish you keep learning the way I look at the charts by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo this way. And I think it might be kind of strange or kind of weird for you to hear the story or the concept like this because most of the time we look for where to buy, where to sell. But to me, after I become a full-time trader, my focus becomes more towards like where, where the market is trending or where the market is not trending. And I found that's more important than looking for where to buy, where to sell. And that's why I talk about this topic. And hopefully, um, I, can, uh, I can deliver this, uh, this message through this uh, YouTube channel over time. All right. Oh, thank you for joining from South Africa, uh, Gavin. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. And all right, Zip. I love Ichimoku. All right. Thank you for the words. <laughs> okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Um, yeah, one hour, four hour chart. Which time frame is the best with Ichimoku? So you can technically apply Ichimoku on any time frames because the market is fractal, but I recommend you to take the daily chart for Ichimoku as Goichi Hosoda originally presented the Ichimoku on the daily chart and also the weekly chart.
Okay, so I guess I will be ending the live anytime soon. Okay, uh, Milad says our stock here has um, a minus 4% or plus 4% daily price. That's a uh, good uh, volatility, I guess. Does Ichimoku works here? So Ichimoku works yeah, on any market if you can uh, use it correctly. So make sure you look at these five lines and see whether the market is uptrending or downtrending or no trends. Hi Marco, thank you for joining, good to see you. Um, Orania says, uh, when the price is under the Kijun Sen on the daily chart, is that the moment you look at the 4 hour chart? Um, when there is a downtrend, then yes, I look at the 4. So for example, uh, let me just touch on this one and I will end the live. So at this moment, I don't look at the 4 because um, like, I, like you said before, like you saw before, this is still flat to me. The Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. So, unless uh, unless I see the price breaks the Kumo downwards here, um, I don't look for a sell chance. Looks like it's happening already now. But um, yeah, I look for, uh, I wait for the Kumo breakout and there's a decent downtrend in the 4 hour chart. But right now, the price is going down. And once the price continues to go down and breaks the Kijun Sen downwards continuously, then I might see the downtrend in lower time frames. And that's when I look at the lower time frame. Otherwise, um, I won't look at the lower time frames. And on the lower time frame, I still um, see whether the market is also downtrending or not. If I find the lower time frames are also flat, then I won't take any trades. All right, Santosh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, hi, Biscas. Uh, do you play violin? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You have. You see the violin in the back. Uh, let me turn the camera a little bit. Yep, that's my violin. <laughs> Yeah, I just play for fun. So um yeah, it's my it's my toy. Okay, Freddy, you're welcome. Ivan says, Yes, K, I'm still learning until today with your KTS and Ichimoku. However, I'm still waiting for a good moment now. Many sideways market recently. Yes. Yes. So you're still learning, right? Um when the market is ranging. Then you know that that it's ranging, and you know that it, you don't want to take trades. That's important. And this this I think this week or uh, last week was exactly when the market was ranging, and that's when the traders will lose. Or maybe you can scalp, or you can become an intraday trader, and you can uh, ride on the trends on a one-hour chart. But um, if you want to hold the position in the swing day to swing markets, then this is not the best timing to take trades because we don't see any trending market. But at least we know this is the right time to wait for the next trends, then we can just do our own things, right? We can uh, just uh, have fun, uh, watch movies or have fun with your friends until we see the next up or down trends in the market on higher time frames. And that's what I do. Okay, so everyone, thank you for joining. So tomorrow, on Wednesday, and I will talk about um, KTS, uh, Canada Trend Line Breakout Strategy. So yesterday, I run the Frex Tester 4 and explain this uh, Canada Trend Line Breakout. And tomorrow, uh, we'll look at a couple of uh, real charge examples and I will present the Canada Trendline breakout strategy by looking at the, uh, the real charts. And hopefully we see some trending market. If not, then I will either run the tester again to present it or we can uh, look at the past charts or um, any trending markets and present this uh, Canada Trendline breakout strategy tomorrow. 
So, yeah, I hope、um, I will see you tomorrow. So, yeah, that's,、um, yeah, I, I guess I will be ending the live for now. All right, so again, once again, thank you for joining everyone. And thank you for your、uh, subscriptions. Now my channel becomes over 20k. So I really appreciate your support. And I hope you keep learning from my channel. So until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.